A number of positive COVID cases coming out of that super spreader event at the White House last month continues to grow. More than a dozen that we know about who were either at Judge Amy Coney Barrett's reception on September 26th or came into contact with those at the reception have tested positive for coronavirus, including President Trump. Almost as soon as this story broke last week, we reached out to our delegation there in Washington to find out if they had been tested. Both Senators Jim Marish and Mike Crapo met with Judge Barrett personally following that event. And Senator Crapo on the Senate Judiciary Committee was at the reception, even sitting next to Senator Tillis from North Carolina, who tested positive. Now, to his credit, you can see Senator Crapo was wearing a mask in some of the pictures that we've seen, even outside. And we were told neither he nor Senator Risch have contracted the virus. They were both tested since the reception and their meetings with Judge Barrett. Then the New York Times posted this article two days ago on Twitter with the headline, students and faculty at the University of Notre Dame are furious that the school's president, who led the charge for reopening, failed to wear a mask at the White House ceremony for Judge Amy Coney Barrett. He later tested positive for the coronavirus. The school's president, the Reverend John Jenkins, an advocate for reopening the school back in August, as I mentioned, only to then close it again because of increasing COVID numbers. Well, he's seen at the back of this picture that was on the top of the article and of the tweet not wearing a mask. But if you look at the foreground, standing right next to President Trump, we back this up a bit, that's Senator Mike Crapo, Idaho Senator Mike Crapo, inside, standing very close and in the middle of a large group of people not wearing a mask. So we wanted to know more about this picture and if the senator has tested more than once since then and is still COVID free since he seems to be pretty close to many, including the president who have since fallen victim to the virus. And here's what we were told today. Senator Crapo has tested negative via a rapid test on Saturday, October 3rd. He tested negative again via a PCR test on Wednesday, October 7th. That's where they put the swab up the nose. He wore the mask for most of his time at the White House that Saturday, but there was a group photo indoors for which he removed his mask. And this photo that you're seeing right there, that was shot in the few minutes following that photo. He left shortly after. So Senator Crapo seems to be in the clear for now since that event was almost 14 days ago. Still pretty close contact, though, with several who were not in the clear. By the way, Reverend Jenkins has since apologized for his lapse in judgment, saying he failed to lead by example by not wearing a mask at a time when he's asked everyone else in the Notre Dame community to do so. Another side note, Fighting Irish taking on Florida State tomorrow afternoon right here on KTVB.